Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're with the Singer 114W103. This is an instruction video on how to oil and maintain your machine. What I suggest first you find is one of these vintage style oiling cans. My one is called Golden Rod. This was made by Dutton Laneson in the USA. This one would probably be from the 1950s. You should be able to find one with a little bit of effort on eBay. The great thing is the long spout that has a sump inside so you can work underneath the machine with a lot of ease and you can get into the tight spaces that need to be oiled. Okay, first you need to oil the hole. Some machines have one hole, some have two and some have three. Here, on the section between the flywheel and the main body. This needs to be oiled all the time. As we come along the machine, you'll see an oil hole at the top here. But what I want to explain is what is it actually oiling and don't be lazy, take off the cover of your machine because you will oil it better with the cover off. Simply oiling the top here will only spread oil in this area. You need to oil all of these parts, one, two, the pin, the gully, this screw here, even on the surface at the side of this rod and the top of the plate. This is if your clip stop system is actually in the machine and functioning. If it's incomplete, you won't need to oil this area, but you definitely need to oil on the right hand side here. If your system is complete, you'll find a small hole in the die as well. Please oil that. And along the main rod where the spring is. Of course, while we've got the cover open, we need to oil these two gears here. I like to actually fill this one and then turn it around so that the oil is distributed evenly. Oil the bottom of the gear as well. It's really hard to get oil into this area, but keep it oiled. Your machine will have less clay in the handle system going forward, if you do. Now we skip across to the left here. You'll find another big hole at the top of the machine. Oil this one very well. It's protecting the main shaft through the body. You don't necessarily need to oil the small rod because the hole is generally bigger, but it can't hurt to give it a little oil now and then. Now we come onto the inside of the face. You'll find there's the egg-shaped die, which I'm pointing to with the oil pan now. This die needs to be oiled really well. Be generous. It has three corresponding L designs that are activated by this egg-shaped die. If you oil that well, it means the top surfaces that are touching the die will also get oiled. Now you'll need to oil the bottom surfaces of each of the L's. This is why I suggest the long nose. In behind this front one you need to oil. You can actually see how much I'm able to get the oiling can in. Oil there really well. What that's doing is oiling the inside of this pipe on the left side of the face. If you can get oil into there, your machine will last a lot longer and give you a lot less problems. Alternatively, this dish style screw on the top is for oiling and it is deliberately a dish design so that you fill the top of it with oil, like so. It will take time, I'm not sure if you can see that in the video, but now it is seeping through. That should come all the way down through to the bottom here. It will take time. Of course, there is an exact same design screw on the back with the dish design that you need to oil very well. You'll need less in the back one compared to the front. The front is actually working a lot harder. Now, this is what we call our needle lifting device. We need to oil here on the outside as well as the inside. Do the two sides. 